today's video protecting the beautiful hell racing paint small one um today we're going to protect these door cups here uh, because over time as people open them up your nails will scratch it and it will scratch that paint uh, so we got a protection film to go over that to help protect that because as much as you can try not to hit it it's just going to happen uh, take for example my avenger if we take a look now this is super dirty because it's been taken out of the garage by the challenger i don't know if you can see right there maybe right there look at all that i bought this avenger brand new eight years ago and that is a lot of scratches so let's get to it got these protectors from lux um, they make all kinds of stuff so let's open this up this is a tail light decal. We'll do this in another video. So also we have in here, I, I did buy a D-badge clay bar kit. Um, I'll use that for the Dodge letters. I love this plastic razor blade. Don't need that today. Application fluid. I will need this today. Prep kit. Squeegee prep spray microfiber cloth. I will use that today. Squeegee. I don't need, there's one in here, so I won't need this one. Suede strip. This kind of goes over the squeegee, gives you a little better handle. Here are the side marker light tints. Again, that'll be another video. This is what we need today. Door handle cut paint protection kit, two of them. And then finally, instructions. Uh, in here, this is just the basic instructions they have for everything. So it tells you how to install tent kits, light wrap. Um, we'll do that process for the side markers. But today we're worried about the decals and PPF. It's a wet application. Uh, I've already kind of did a basic cleaning here. I'm going to use a prep spray to do a final cleaning. Um, paint is new, so it shouldn't be any scratches, hopefully. Okay, so it's one sheet. And you kind of see them. Now the question is, which is left, which is right? A slight ding there. Hopefully that comes out. Uh, looks like they're notched here. So one is definitely longer than the other. And the curve is different. Uh, be nice if they kind of mark this for which is which. But judging by what I could see, this is going to require a longer notch. So uh, we could get this, you're just going to have to use common sense and see what side is what. So this bottom will go on this side, that one will go on that side. But first, let's prep. I'm guessing this is prep spray because it was inside the prep kit. Uh, be nice if they mark these bottles because I also have this application. And if you see, they're the identical bottle, same sprayer. Uh, so I'm going to need to make sure to keep this in this bag so I always know what it is. I need to just get a marker and write on it myself. But Lux, why don't you do that? You use a label for this anyway. Might as well just put on a bottle instead. Prep spray. Let's lift that up too. Now, one thing I did see in a video that Lux did, let's see, there's a little bit of dirt. Spiel, especially you want to do this if your car has been out longer, isn't brand new, is take the squeegee, kind of give you a little sharper edge, and just to get into those corners really good. So, in this case, it's not bad because, again, this car is brand new. Okay. So now, this is a wet application. If you know some instructions, it says, uh, once you peel the graphic away from the backing paper, in this case, not graphic, PPF, um, don't waste time, spray the surface, meaning this, and the back of the decal with the apply fluid. See, I'm already getting mixed up because Lux, please mark these bottles. Prep spray, I'm gonna put you in the box there. Apply this liberally. We mean liberally. Watch a video. They spray the heck out of this. So let's do the same thing. Let's first 
Okay, long notch. So I'm going to take off the bottom one. Let's go ahead and spray the surface first. They say liberally, so we are going to do liberally. What do you think? Is that liberally enough? I can get right where my... There we go. I'd say that's liberally. Now what's funny is I watched a video where a pro with Lux installed these and man, he had a hard time doing it. So this thing, it's still a decal. So even with all the spray, it doesn't really move very much. Wow, I did not expect this to be this difficult. I also in the video even said the hardest part is getting this top part to line up. You can get this top part lined up. Then you're golden. I feel like I'm going to need well, <laughs> plenty of spray. I got plenty. And it's really hard too because this is a bowl shape. No, I'm definitely not happy with that. <sighs> wow. It also doesn't help that I am a perfectionist. <sighs> wow. Who knew that this would be so frustrating? Thought I had it for a second. You know, I'm going to say this. If you have a buddy to help you, I don't know if it makes it easier or not. Have someone lift that handle. So now I'm just doing it one-handed. But with the handle lifted, you can see the line. see the line so much better with that handle lifted. Okay, I think I think I got the top line. Nice one ridge here. I was wondering how this is going to go on considering the decals are 
the film is flat, but the surface is most definitely not. It's pretty well lined up. Come on. Okay. I think I did enough with my finger. Okay, I think we got as good as we're going to get it. Um, I do have a couple imperfections, but they're super hard to see. The good thing is, like I showed you, these are only 15 bucks for the set, so and if I waste them, it's 15 bucks I'll reduce and buy a new one. Uh, but you really, really got to get up close to even see these. Top view, I can see a couple bubbles right there. Okay, hopefully I get better over time. All right, well, I'm not too happy with this insulation, honestly. It, it's rough. Hopefully the other side comes out better. Maybe I should have done the other side first because I'm going to see this side most often. Okay, here's the passenger side. I'm opening the door. Okay. I actually think I got that good this time. I think so. Middle out. I need to spray this side too. On my finger. There we go, that makes it a little easier. That's a cool tip, actually spray this on the outside too, and on your finger, gives you a little slip too, makes it a little easier. Okay, we're gonna call it. I got everything out I could. You know, when you get windows, probably not to open windows for a couple days, uh, and you see it's kind of hazy, and sometimes you get a little bubble, and it works its way out after a while. Um, hopefully, these do the same. Overall, I'm gonna say this. Uh, it's a good investment, $15. However, I will say, because of the shape of that cup, uh, they are very difficult to install, which I should have known when I watched that video with the actual Lux person taking that sticker on and off. I swear it looked like a hundred times. He had difficulty. <laughs> so if you've never done this before, uh, it's going to be tough. It can be done. Just have patience. You, you'll get it done. But honestly, if you take it to a shop to get uh, the windows tinted, ceramic coated, most likely places that do that 
also do paint protection films, I would just tell them to do it, have it done professionally. Okay, so it's been a couple weeks since I installed these door cup handle protectors. So let's take a look at it here in the sun. Hopefully you can see that. It actually did come out a little bit better after some time. Let's go ahead and go to the passenger side. Wait, look at this color. Isn't it? this beautiful? Man. It's a little bit more shaded on this side, so. Hopefully you guys can see that. So overall, my impressions, yeah, definitely worth it, 15 bucks. I mean, it's not perfect, but man, it came out pretty good once you give it some time to, to settle in. So if there's some miniature bumbles, some imperfections, a lot of it will come out given some time. So definitely a mod worth doing. Again, if you're doing professional PPF installation, you might as well have to do it at the same time. If not, Lux Concepts. 15 bucks do it yourself not too bad so thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it hope you learned some like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace